Hello, I'm Stan Boney. I'm Alexis Walters. The handshake that took place after tonight's meeting in Canfield sealed the deal for the future of the Canfield schools, possibly into the next century. City Council and the school board agreed to a land transfer with the school board getting part of the Red Gate Farm property to build a new school. All of it contingent on the passage of a levy. The announcement of the deal is our top story at 10. Canfield School Superintendent Joe Knoll this afternoon stood in the high school auditorium stage surrounded by school board and city council members. So here is our big announcement. The Canfield Local School District is coming to Redgate Farms. Redgate Farms is located at South Palmyra and Leffingwell Roads and is owned by the city of Canfield. The Canfield school system will use the southernmost 100 acres for a new elementary and middle school building. The school board and city council passed the land transfer. Superintendent Knoll signed, followed by city manager Wade Calhoun. When I toured the facilities three years ago, I said, how much acreage do you need? Calhoun, uh, like many people in Canfield, believe the two elementary schools, C.H. Campbell and Hilltop, along with Canfield Middle School, are outdated and need replaced. And, you know, the building I work in at that middle school, 1922, that's a 100-year-old building. And uh, it was a good, solid structure, but uh, it's time. In exchange for the Redgate land, the city will receive the middle school building and the adjacent bus garage, along with some financial help from the school board if the city decides to change it. Right now, I believe it's roughly in, in the agreement of about a million dollars. But again, this agreement sets up for the finalization of that actual real estate transfer development agreement to be signed. The final agreement won't be signed until Canfield voters pass a 6.9 mil levy to raise $107 million over 37 years. It's on the May ballot. Some of the money will also be used for major renovations of Canfield High School. The deal expires in June of 2023, giving the school system several tries. There's some urgency here, and um, we understand that, but we appreciate, obviously, the city being willing to uh, do that land exchange to give us those 100 buildable acres. That was a big commitment. Now, Joel Noel, the Canfield superintendent, says if the levy passes in May, students could be in the new school by fall of 2025. He also says there's enough land at Redgate Farm that a new high school could eventually be built there. But that likely would not happen for at least 30 to 35 years.